What's the deal guys? Welcome back. My name is Derek with Flippin' Drip and today we're going to be talking about the levels to these sports cards. What you should be buying or what I recommend you buying if you are an investor. If you are a collector, well, who gives a f what I gotta say honestly because you are a collector. But if you are an investor and you are new in the space and you're like, what the f do I buy because there's so much product on the shelf. I'm only assuming you don't want to get stuck with score football. That's why we're making this video. So stay to the end of the video if you want to figure out what type of cards you should be buying. All right, so first we're going to be starting off with baseball. Very, very simple. Any tops product is the only thing you want to buy. Anything else doesn't have the license for baseball. So truthfully, if you're an investor, people like the logos. As myself being an investor and a collector, I like the logos. I would not collect Don Russ or anything else that doesn't have a logo in it. It's just not not my uh it's not my thing and with Don Russ you would have like optic Optic doesn't have logos either because that's a Panini brand. Any Panini brand doesn't have logos because Topps is the only brand that owns the right to the baseball logos. And yes, Diamond Kings is Panini. So those will all follow under Panini. And those would probably be the worst ones to buy if you're trying to be an investor in sports cards. And then you have like Topps Fire, which uh, I'm not a big fan of, but at least it's Topps and at least it has a logo and whatnot. And then we can move into Topps Opening Day. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of this product. I think it's just like a knock off of like top series one and top series two to each its own if you like the product then you like the product but to me it's not where the money's at if you're really looking at getting money out of your baseball cards and then after that it would have to follow into top heritage i'm not the biggest fan of heritage but i kind of like it because i have pretty good success with it so i think that's like a more biased statement but uh top heritage is not too bad honestly and then we move into top series one and series two which is just the base paper rookie card that's what um, a lot of people look for. And then from that, we move into Topps Chrome, which is probably my favorite baseball product just because I like the way it looks. It sells pretty well. Keep in mind though, baseball doesn't sell as good as like basketball or football. The market is just not there, but that's okay because I understand that game. And I like that game more because I grew up on it, but I still like basketball and football, don't get me wrong. And then I think side by side with Topps Chrome would have to be Bowman and like Bowman Chrome because um, Bowman first are their first baseball cards and usually that's the most valuable card you can get so That's for baseball. I'm not going to hit everything. I'm just going to hit more of retail and then you could decide if I did well or not and then you can hit me in the comments saying you dumped you missed this box or whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter. But I know there are other boxes out there, but I'm just kind of talking about retail because the sports world is so big. All right, now let's move into basketball. First of all, my personal opinion, just my personal opinion, the worst one you can get at retail is Illusion. They hold like no value. And then honestly, following that would probably be NBA hoops. And then keep in mind, guys, I'm just literally free. I, I freestyle all my videos, so I might miss a couple boxes here and there. Again, leave a comment. Tell me how stupid I am if I miss one your favorite boxes or whatever it doesn't matter but i think after nba hoops you would have to probably put like contenders because uh honestly those cards are kind of ugly just in my opinion some are cool, some are ugly. And then let's see, after Contender, you would probably have to put Chronicle Basketball. And then I would put Don Russ after Chronicles because I do like the Rated Rookies. I do like the way they look. I like that Rated Rookie stamp. I would have to say after Rated Rookie, it'd probably be Mosaic. And that's a newer one that came out maybe like a year ago or so or something like that. And then after that is going to have to be Optic. Yeah, the Optic brand is sick. It's like Rated Rookie, just a uh, higher end. And then, you know, the big daddy of them all. Prism. I think Prism speaks for itself, you know? So again, I'm probably not going to hit them all. I know I'm actually not hitting them all because there's so many different sports cards out there, but I'm just trying to focus a little bit on retail, what most people can, you know, end up getting and end up seeing in the stores. And again, if I miss a box, just uh, roast me in the comments. Now let's move into football. And if you heard the beginning of the video, score is absolutely trash, in my opinion, just my opinion. It's such a 99 cent pack. And hey, if you like it, you like it, it's cool. It's like a level, there's levels to it, you know, but just not my cup of tea. And then you also have playoffs. And honestly, I'm not a fan of playoffs at all. I don't think playoffs are that dope. You would have to hit like a crazy, crazy, crazy card in my eyes for it to be worth it. And then you have illusions and truthfully, illusions are ugly in my opinion. I think the illusion basketball look better than the football, but yeah, illusions are ugly. And then of course, same thing with basketball, with football, you have Don Rest, the Raider Rookies. Raider Rookies are super sick. I'm a big fan of that Raider Rookie stamp straight up. Oh, and you know, 
And you know, a lot of people are probably going to get at me for this one, but I think Select would come next. Select is tight, but they've printed out so much and they've watered down every pack with hits that I want to see how much value Select holds over time. So right now, Select is not like my top three. And the one product I would put over Select that people are going to be like, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I think Chronicles, because Chronicles gives you a flavor of everything. I like how you can get Chronicles and get a clearly rated Ricky card. Those are super sick. Those are beautiful ass cards. And then I would probably have to put Mosaic, Football, and then Optic. And you know, Optic is the same thing as a rated Ricky, just uh, more bougie. And then no big daddy of them all. You got to put Prism at the top because Prism is king and Prism is, well, Prism sells for the most, Prism holds the most value, and that's what everybody wants. And then the last one I'm going to cover, I'm not going to cover soccer, NASCAR, you know, stuff like that. And I'm just because truthfully, I just don't know it like that. And you know, it is what it is. You can come from my head in the comments, whatever. But the last one, UFC. See, people will buy the tops one because it's cheaper, but then they failed to realize that UFC just signed a deal with Panini. So that's like buying Panini products for baseball. Why the hell are you doing that? You want you want the real deal shit, especially if you're an investor, because that's going to hold the most value. So UFC right now, the only thing you really get is Prism. But I also heard that Chronicles is coming out. I think a Select is coming out and like one more or so. But, you know, that's just because you got to follow the people in the sports card market and see the way they move it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I hope this helped, guys. I hope uh, this gave some knowledge to what is uh, what is what and what's shitty and what's not. And I hope uh, you guys be safe in this market because this market is very uh, almost unpredictable, but it's not because at the same time, we kind of talked about how this market was going to start coming down. PSA cut off submissions. Beckett cut off submissions. PSA is going to flood the market with slabs. That means your slabs are going to be less valuable. When the world opens up, people are going to lose interest in the hobby because they can go back to the actual game so with that being said be careful where you put your money in this right now because nobody knows where this is going i'm gonna assume that it's gonna come down even more and correct because right now truthfully we're in a bubble nfts we're in a bubble everything we're in a bubble we're in an everything bubble inflated by stimulus checks and government funding just my opinion i'd love to hear what you guys think again tell me which ones i missed i know i missed some i know i missed a lot we didn't even talk about immaculate flawless one of ones type you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's a whole different language. This is for more retail, like when you're walking in the store, like what the hell am I gonna buy? But yeah, guys, with that being said, if you enjoyed this, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like, comment, subscribe, do the whole thing to stay in the loop. I drop one video a day helping you mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, and emotionally. We talk about the news, we talk about the card market, we talk about the world. We talk about everything and anything. And if you want to hear a certain thing talked about, just drop a comment. Let me know. I can get it done for you. But anyways, guys, my name is Derek with Flippin' Drip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.